A security guard is fighting for his life after being attacked while on the job last night in downtown Honolulu. This latest incident is raising concerns among those who work and live in the area. Jen Boniza has more. People that live and work in downtown Honolulu tell me things have gotten worse. They say there's much more homeless in the area and they've gotten more aggressive. 58-year-old Michael Stubbs was working at his security job at Pioneer Plaza Tuesday around 5.30 when he was hit in the head with a water flask. His son says he doesn't understand why anyone would do that. According to a witness, Stubbs was trying to get the suspect to leave the area. The 32-year-old suspect was arrested for attempted murder and several bench warrants. Court records also show he has four felony drug convictions. Those who live and work near Fort Street Mall say the homeless population has grown and they've become more violent recently. During the pandemic, it got worse and it's getting worse right now. You know, some poor, poor security guy trying to do his job, he knocks him out. You know, it's terrible. Do you feel safe in this area? How no, do you I feel? don't. I don't at all. Ford Street Mall falls within the boundaries for the city's weed and seed program to prevent crime. The mayor says it's working. We've been arresting people now for quite some time in the Chinatown area and the Fourth Street Mall area. And we've been, you know, praised consistently for the tremendous change in what's going on. So that, that's what I'll say. Is it perfect? No. But I think we're overcoming decades of neglect here and trying to do it in short order. So I stand by that. The Chinatown Business Association president says she sees a difference, but more needs to be done. We need new cameras and we need to empower with funding a permanent, permanent program for police on foot and not just volunteer. The mayor says they are doing everything they can to eliminate crime. I believe that is the right of every citizen is to be able to feel safe. I hate it when things like this happen, but stuff like that does happen and we're going to look to prevent it. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.